Hello. <laughs> right now I'm coming to you from my garden, which is in the back of my home where I live in Sacramento, California. One of the things I'm most grateful for besides having a home is having a garden, having a space to grow things. Do you want to see what I'm growing? I have some onions, some spinach, some celery. I have a lot of rainbow chard and carrots. And I think the carrots might just be about ready to pull up. Should we try? Let's see, this one looks like a big one. I think you're supposed to spin. Okay. Huh. Okay, it's not, it didn't turn out as big as I thought. Does anyone have any tips for when to know when to pull up a carrot? Um, so I'm sure I can still find a good use for this, maybe in a stew or maybe a carrot cake, a carrot muffin maybe. Um, well, in any case, I'm gonna get cleaned up and why don't you meet me in the studio and let's make something. Sound good? All right. Hello, welcome to Making Space, the place where I invite you to join me in making something together. My name is Christian Robinson. I am an author and illustrator of books for children, which basically means I get to draw and make up stuff all the time. Right now I am sitting in my making space, my art studio, the garage right behind my house. And I believe that creativity has the power to heal, that everyone has that creative spark within them, and it's my hope that these videos might inspire or encourage you to explore your creativity. Right now we're being asked to stay inside and that can be challenging, but I figure if we can't go out at the moment, let's go in, into our imaginations where anything is possible and create something together. All right, let's do this. All right, so here's what we're gonna make today. We are gonna make something grow by creating our very own garden. In order to make this garden, you'll need a few pieces of colored paper, like construction paper, maybe a magazine. I actually had an old farming magazine. Why did I have an old vintage farm magazine? Because, um, no, that's not really any of your business. Um, so yeah, what you're gonna do is fold a piece of paper into like four panels by folding it over twice. You know what I'm saying. Um, and this is gonna be like your little comic strip. Um, and then I tore two strips of brown paper. This is going to be my soil. And uh, yeah, and then I glued those down. And in that magazine, I found a yellow piece of paper that I really liked. And I tore this apart to make a little seed that will be planted in the soil. As a kid, you know, one of my all-time favorite movies was The Secret Garden. This is the version in the 90s starring... Dame Maggie Smith. I love her. She's hilarious. What is a week end? <laughs> that was an impression. I do impressions. Um, and so, yeah, I started to glue things down and, um, and made some more strips. And please excuse me if my voice is a little raspy. I was out in the garden all day and I have allergies. Um, and so then I glued down my petals, our leaves. Um, and you know, I actually find ripping paper to be a lot of fun, especially if you're feeling frustrated or stressed. Try tearing some paper. And then I glued down my flower and gave it a nice little center. And then I thought my garden could use a buddy. So I created a little butterfly to go, hey, that's kind of cute, mm, no, uh, to go in the garden. You can create maybe a ladybug or maybe a hummingbird or a caterpillar or whatever you want to put in your garden. And there you have it, our little secret garden. Today's art project was inspired by a book. This book right here, The Carrot Seed 
written by Ruth Krauss and illustrated by Crockett Johnson. This book was first published in 1945, making it almost 75 years old today, which is pretty incredible. If I could describe this book in one word, it would be perseverance. It's sort of about how in life we all experience challenges and we might feel like giving up, but we are persistent in getting something done. In this story, this little boy plants a carrot seed and he isn't sure if it will actually grow. And many people around him aren't sure if it will grow, but he is persistent in making sure it gets done. I wanna make sure that someone, actually two people, get a chance to win a free copy of this book. In order to enter to win, all you have to do is like this video, comment below, and in the comment, tag a friend, a friend who you admire for overcoming a challenge. And I'll make sure that you and your friend win a free copy of the book. I'll do this by supporting our local and independent bookshops, so either a bookstore in your town or mine, and I'll have them send you a copy. I think that's it. I just want to say thank you all for making space for creativity, for fun, and for joining me in this video. I hope to see you in my next video. Thank you so much. Bye.